Shalom, Israel. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Racha, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the elect. It's the Great Millstone Dallas camp and uh, we're on our way to class and we just wanted to uh, get some work in, man. Get us some road work in. We're going through, uh, going in, uh, what are we going into right now? Uh, Hebrews uh, chapter 12, basically just talking about enduring chastening. You know what I'm saying? Because we all going to have to endure chastening, but it's a way to endure chastening. So we're just going to get straight to it. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 6. It says, For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Right, man. So the one, the ones who receive will catch the most hell on this side. As you, uh, as you read in uh, Psalms uh, chapter 73, when Asaph saw the persecution of the righteous and the and, and, and how the the heathen were lifted up, he was, he was he didn't really understand, you know, why it was that way. But the righteous are going to be persecuted on this side because the righteous uh, uh, men of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai don't belong to this world. This is not our kingdom. You know. That's right. That's right. All right. It says, if ye endure chastening, the Most High dealeth with you as with sons. And what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? And when you go into the history of our forefathers, man, from all the prophets, even including the Lord himself, they all had to go through things to pretty much prove their faith in Yahweh. You know? <coughs> Yahweh being the only God, the only true living power that can do anything when called upon. And whenever he call, whenever he is called upon, he's pleasing to him because he loves doing for his kids. You know? But when your kids go off, you gotta discipline your kids and it's all about them understanding how to become rulers which when you come into rulership you have to understand uh, both, uh, both sides of the spectrum so he was giving us righteousness through the law statutes and commandments but that was as a crutch to be able to show us how to be uh, uh, overall he put these other nations above us he put us in captivity under all these different nations who the laws don't apply to as a chance and for us to be made perfect God. you know being conformed uh, uh, to, the, to the likeness of his son all right, you ready for the next verse? Uh, yeah, kind of. Well, it talks about it talks about in uh, I think that's Sirach chapter four. Um, it goes into uh, how wisdom is going to try you when you receive this when you receive this truth. You, you know, your faith is going to be tested through diverse ways. God. You know, and temptations. God. You know, it just goes into the manner of this uh, this wisdom being worth more than than, than rubies and, and gold and all the riches of the world. You have to pay it. You have to. Uh, essentially pay some type of price for that which uh, really is giving up everything that that you hold dear in this world God, we can get that if you want it after this well uh, after we finish this one up God. all right it says but if ye okay yeah verse 7 it says if ye endure chastening the most high did it with you as with sons for what son is he uh is he whom the father has not chastened you know going through all our forefathers and the prophets it says but if ye be without chastisement Whereof all are partakers, then ye are bastards and not sons. Mm. You know, so if you ain't catching hell, so if you ain't being dealt with in a fashion, in a, in a form of fashion to uh, uh, bring forth your growth in this thing, then the Lord ain't dealing with you, man. It's just that simple. God. God. All right. That's why. That's why Esau, man, he he don't really catch a lot of hell. You know, he will shortly uh, as a recompense to all the BS that he's done to to the Lord's people. But as of right now. And the most high not the most high isn't dealing dealing with Esau or, or any of these other nations. God. You know, so they not they're not they're not in trouble as other men. I'm sorry, uh, uh, I'm sorry. They we are we are in trouble, but these other men are in trouble, you know. Right. We suffer temptations, but they don't really go through much. They they get they get the blessings of this of this carnal world. Alright, I got that in uh Sirach for you. Okay. This is uh Sirach chapter uh, four. Verse, uh, let's go with, uh, 16. It says, if a man commit himself unto her, he shall inherit her, going into wisdom, and his generation shall hold her in possession. Right. So as long as we continue in this, in this truth, man, in this walk, we're going to be able to uh, possess wisdom for generation, uh, uh, unto generation. Because when you, when you take into account the prophets of old are back on the earth today, they possess wisdom back then. And so the same men and spirits that had that wisdom back then are, are, are receiving the prophecies and understanding uh, 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 the law, statutes, and commandments of, of Yahweh Shimei Shai right now. You know, that's right. 
says, For at the first she will walk with him by crooked ways, and bring fear and dread upon him, and torment him with her discipline, until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. And when you come into this thing, man, you find out what you can and can't do uh, 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 in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, what's pleasing and what's not. You know, and wisdom is the judge. Go ahead. Oh, that's right. I'm reading. <laughs> Come on, this is verse 18. It says, Then will she return the straight way unto him, going through that, uh, going through those uh, laws, getting the understanding of what you can and can't do, what's mm -hmm. beneficial and what's not, mm -hmm. and comfort him and show him her secrets to where the more you understand, the more your faith is built up. And then before you know it, you, uh, you become a prophet. You become a teacher, you know? This thing uh, consumes your life pretty much. Once you show wisdom that you're worthy of it, she feels it. Uh, she feels your life with herself. You know what I'm saying? As a gift from the heavenly Father. All right. Now it's uh, verse 19. But if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. And that's the last thing you want, you right. know, because you can't come into the, uh, uh, an abundance of knowledge and get puffed up. You know, you got to know how to handle this wisdom. It says, and accept no person against thy soul. Oh, if I skip the verse. It says, Ob observe the opportunity and beware of evil and be not ashamed when it concerneth thy soul. For there is a shame that bringeth sin and there is a shame which glory, uh, which is glory and grace. So like I said, you got to know how to understand this wisdom. Because when you first come into this wisdom, you're going to realize that you ain't on point. You know, just like the, uh, the, uh, the first precept we brought out about being chastened. You know, we being chastened with wisdom right now, spiritually, so we don't have to be chastened physically when the time comes. Right. And that's what we're trying to avoid. Right. So getting into the word and getting into the understanding and getting into the knowledge of what the Heavenly Father is looking for, your best bet is to uh, uh, let wisdom try you through these things so you can get better and better and better at becoming a judge, which is what we ultimately going to be, the judges of the earth. That's right. You know? That's right. What other precepts did you have that you want to get? Um, if there's no more continuing in, in Hebrews uh, 12, we can get 1 Peter 2, All right, 19, there we go. and go down to like pretty much the rest of the chapter. All right, 1 Peter 2 and 19. All right. For this is thankworthy, if a man for conscience toward the Most High endure grief, suffering wrongfully. Right, man. So we thank the Most High if we suffer, uh, if we suffer wrongfully, man, for the name uh, 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 and the glorification of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, right? Because it said in uh, Sirach that there is a that there is a uh, what is it? Shame. There's two types of shame, mm -hmm. something like that. Yep. You know, you don't want to you don't want to suffer shame uh, uh, because of your disobedience. You wanna you want to uh, 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 suffer shame because of because of your obedience towards the Heavenly Father. You know. That's right. It says, "For what for what glory is it if when ye be buffeted?" For your, uh, if you, when you be buffeted for your faults, ye you shall take it patiently. But if, when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently. This is acceptable with the Most High. So you got to understand how to. You got to understand how to suffer. First of all, you got to understand that suffering is going to be a part of it. And second of all, you got to understand how to suffer. Because you can suffer as a nigga, or you can suffer as a man of the Lord, like the brother just said. Right. You want to keep reading? Uh, yeah, we can go pretty much because it's talking about your house shot. Okay. For even here unto ye, uh, for he, for even here unto were ye called, because of Mashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow in his steps, because the elect was gonna have to follow in his steps. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why he prayed so hard for uh, uh for the Akim in uh, uh John 17. You know what I'm saying? You got some commentary on that? God, could you read that verse again, Bible? God, it says, for even here unto were ye called. Because Hamashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Right. So we are called to suffer, man. Essentially, we're called to suffer so that we can be glorified with Yahweh Shai, so that we can be those uh, uh, men that, that are raised up and receive that kingdom that, that Yahweh Shai receives, uh, the, the joint heirs. That's right. You know? So that's why I say you got to suffer with him, you know, which is, it, 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 it requires you to believe that he, that he is. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to suffer. Nobody, these Christians aren't thinking about suffering with, with, with they're not suffering, they, they winning. No, I would say, you you know? can, how you suffering if you can do whatever you want to do? Right. Suffering, I would say suffering goes into uh, 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 patience. Yeah. You know, this whole world is based upon not having patience. Everything is on impulse, mm -hmm. you know? Kind. 
And the scriptures talk about the trying of your faith work is patience. So if you don't have any patience, you you don't really have faith in the Lord. Like how you went into uh, uh, how Saul uh, was not trying to wait for Samuel. God. You know what I'm saying? And he, he, he waited that seven days and he, he, he was tripping like, damn, man. But if he don't come, he didn't have faith. He wasn't patient enough to wait. That's right. You know? And it was a penalty for that. Exactly. Yeah. You know? Uh, is there more? Or there is more, actually. Yeah. It says, uh, who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth. Who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judges righteously. Right, man. So whenever we suffer... Uh, uh, not as evildoers, but uh, but as those uh, who, who who do the will of the uh, who do the will of the Lord, we don't recompense evil for evil. We don't try to get our lick back carnally. We wait for 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 Yahweh Bashim to uh, uh, to fight our battles, man. Because he's the he's the revenger of blood. He's the one who uh, 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 who is going to rectify the situation. Okay. What was the last part of that verse again? It says, "But he committed himself to him that judgeth righteously." Right. Yeah. So we commit we commit ourselves uh, to to the Lord, man, because we know that he's gonna he's gonna come back to to judge uh, uh, the living and the dead, as the scriptures say. Gone. It says, "This is verse twenty-four. It says, who is uh, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sin, should live unto righteousness." By whose stripes ye were healed Right, so he's a perfect example Of how we ought to be in this world You know, I mean when it comes down To the nitty gritty which we are Approaching rapidly, okay With uh, with the mark of the beast Being being more and more um, uh, A mainstream You know, you start starting to see commercials And advertisements about the mark of the beast Which wasn't here a hundred years ago or or, or, or or 70 years ago so that's how we know it's, it's it, we're in the last days of the last days because um, uh, because we see that and and all these uh, nations coming together for war again for the third time, okay? But so seeing those things, knowing that we're in the, in the last days of the last days, we we have to maintain that mind frame. Okay, we got to get ready. You know, what I'm saying to to go through that persecution that Yahweh Shah warned us about. That's right. You know, I was saying Yahweh Shah was chastised as a son, not a bastard. You see. And we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, Lord willing, we those men. So we're going to be having to, ch we have to be chastised in that same fashion, you know. And it's, for us to, and it's for us all to be made perfect. You know, when you go into our bodies being changed in the twinkling of an eye and things of that nature, Yahweh Shai already did that. So when he comes back in his glory, that's what the chastening was all. That, that, was, a, that was a part of the chastening was to come out perfect on the other end. God. Yeah. Verse 25, it says, for ye... Were as sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls, man. Yep. So we being chastised in order to be made perfect, man. And that's the whole point. Yep. The whole point. So no matter how, no matter how messed up or jacked up your judgment seem to be, it is what it is, man. Right. You know? Yep. Until you get to the point, until you get to the point to where you conquer death, it's gonna be a long bumpy ride, man. That's right. But you gotta be ready for that ride. Right. You know, in these scriptures, it's what get us ready for that ride. Love you know? right. Uh, you say you ain't got no toe tag, right? No. Okay, so we gonna go. Uh, yeah, just just ride 635, okay. and then you gonna get off on a uh, on a uh, wild or something like that. Got you got yeah. any more precepts you had? Uh, yeah, we can get uh, Matthew chapter five. All right. Um, what it talks about blessed are you when men shall persecute you for my name's sake. At the top on Matthew. Okay. Right. It says uh, Matthew five verse one. It says, and seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain, and when he and when he was set, the disciples came unto him, and opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And blessed are they which do hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see the Most High. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of the Most High. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, and for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. You see that? Blessed are they 
who are persecuted for righteousness for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven man you know because we can't uh we can't make like all the sacrifices that that, that uh yahweh required in the law okay can't make us perfect it talks about that in uh in the previous chapter huh. you know and so by the by the sacrifice that yahweh shot made that by his blood is the only way that we can be cleansed from this from this wicked flesh you know because we just read it in uh in hebrews the last verse in chapter 12 how uh we we, we were pretty much dead in sins we, we were through we didn't have no we didn't have any um uh, uh, uh hope of being of being delivered man until the most high sent his son yahweh shot to deliver us man okay so we gotta like how it says in john uh chapter 15 we gotta lay down our life uh for yahweh shot like how he did for us that's right you know all right is that that's pretty much oh and then joe you get you know yeah that's right joe uh, 15 and i'm sorry five and 17. yes sir yeah, you're gonna take Bell Live, brother. That make a live. This is Job chapter 5, verse 17. It says, Behold, happy is the man whom the Most High correcteth. Therefore, despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. You know? And that's what it's all about, man. When you understand that, okay, think about it in uh, Acts chapter 5, which we can uh, probably get that on our way home or something. You know what I'm saying? But in Acts chapter 5, it was going into how uh, uh, Peter and John rejoiced in the fact that they were able to be arrested and beaten in the name of Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? Even Paul said, for I wish that I could be accursed, you know what I'm saying, for the uh, for, for Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? Meaning that you would be glad, you would gladly take on that 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 uh, uh, the, the things that you would have to endure, you know, which is catching that hell and catching that persecution. Because the Lord told you that that's what you was going to get coming into this thing. Right. So when you see that these things are coming, it builds your faith up because it's true. He was telling you the truth when he said people was going to hate you, when people was going to revile you. He was telling the truth when he said that I'm chastising you because I love you because you, you're my son. You see? It said you're a bastard if you're not being corrected by your son. So if you're being chastised, then you know you're not a bastard. And that's comfort. You see? It says, so don't despise the chastening of the Heavenly Father, because that's what's showing you that you're on the right path, that you're on the right track. Right. You see? Right. You got anything else that you want to go into on that? Oh, man. Really, you know, it's, it's such an extensive topic, but, I mean, I guess we can go ahead and continue. I brought this out, you know, on the way back or whatever. Done. Well, for now, we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, shut this down. You know, we are almost to the spot. So uh, we want to give our praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.